What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 nuking experiment. In this one we're going to be targeting the new event that pops up over at the Emmett Mountain Disposal site that was added within Wastelanders called Radiation Rumble. This will be the third experiment that we have tried so far since this new update. I'm excited to get into this one because there are loads of enemies within this new event. And be sure to stick around after the nuke experiment is over with because then I'm going to be going over some really awesome rewards that you can get from this new event that many players probably don't know about because they are extremely rare to get when completing this. That's what I like to do within each experiment. I like to bring more awareness over specific things that I think many players won't know about at each area that we target because I know these kind of experiments get a lot of people's attention. So I like to cover as much info as I can within each episode. And not to mention, I'm going to be giving some major tips on how you can complete this event easily because it definitely is tough. It's actually one of the hardest, if not the toughest event that we can possibly do right now in Fallout 76 in my opinion. So I feel like sharing these tips will definitely help players be able to complete this easier. I want to try to help out as many players as I can with this so more players actually participate in this event so we can all get it done efficiently. It's definitely worth it. But yeah, first off, let's go ahead and nuke this and see what all happens. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's here. It's here. Woo! Oh, the weight was real with that. Good doggy on for a second. I need to eat. You have no idea how long I was waiting. Don't tell me I don't have any water. Oh, alcohol will do. All right. Yes, it's happening. I'm gonna go on top of West Tech Research Center because why not? What? Over encumbered. No! Oh, well, I need this power armor on anyways. Can you hear me? Hello? Yo, Kane. What's, up? What's good, bro? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, brother. Dude, I just nuked Radiation Rumble. I literally waited in this silo for four hours, man. <laughs> I was wondering what uh, you were doing. Uh, Stark? Like, you've been on all fucking night, dude. Yeah. Did it do anything differently? Yeah, Stark got off. He was in here with me. Like, I, I still have messages from him four hours ago. Yeah. Literally four hours ago, I was messaging Stark about this, and yeah, he just got off to go to sleep. <laughs> Man, I waited that silo forever. <laughs> Dedication. But yeah, the enemies down here during the event aren't that high, so let's see if the nuke changes them up a bit. I'm definitely going to record. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, guys, you guys got to hurry up and get here. Ooh, a three-star already. And it doesn't seem like they mutated. They're still 40. What? That kind of... That blows. That defeated my whole purpose. Rifle, there's three cores right here. Where you at? Oh, there you are. All right, so let's get into the tunnels. Yeah, we got to protect them. If they die, we fail. Um, but if we go in the tunnels, if we have someone going into the tunnels with uh, excavator and mine, helping them mine the ore. You see how it says to the top right over there to collect ore and whatnot? Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's what we got to do. We gotta try to help them. I'm getting an excavator right now since, you know, that's one of the things that's special about the excavator. When you go to mine with it, you're supposed to get more ore than usual. Honestly, I'm not even sure if the excavator is gonna work on this ore. But heck, it's worth a shot though, since that is what it does. Well, I mean, uh, do we gotta, like, mine it and bring it back? I don't know. I just read the Wikipedia. That's all I know right now. Oh. I'm looking right now. <laughs> I'm just being just honest, man. Blind. <laughs> I'm just being honest. All right, irradiated ore veins in here. Um, oh my god, I'm Holy getting shit. hit up with radiation. Good thing I got that radiation perk card on, too. Gives me 40 extra. Oh. Dang. Dude, these ore veins are all over in here. How deep does this go? Okay, that's as deep as it goes. Okay. Alright, I'm coming back with some ore. Where do I return to that? Defend the scavengers, 4 out of 4. Let's keep them alive, guys. Oh, I see. Deposit ore just came up as a diamond. Oh, no. I need help. No, I don't. Oh, nice. Yep. Dude, there's tons of legendaries that spawn here, too. Ooh, a bloody Chinese officer sword. What? Okay. I'm, now... I'm glad we got a lot of people here, too. You know, this nuke zone kind of caught people's eye to come here. All right, I got eight so far collected. Just run in the tunnels, guys, and try to collect as much ore as you can. 
You're able to. So much radiation. Dang, yeah. You're totally green, Mavius. I gotta use a rat away, dude. Ooh, and a rat X diluted so I can keep my mutations. Alright, I'm going in on the other side. Try to protect them. Alright, let me deposit what I got here. Bam! Or collect the 23. Get as much as you can. Try to get that 4 out of 4 reward. So we can get, you know, what, whatever the best kind of reward we can get from this. Oh my oh. god, so much radiation! There's Bad. a decon shower over here. I don't here, have so Oh yeah, I forgot, there is. Yeah, you can just run over here and fucking... Oh yeah, so nice people. tip right there. I was wasting right away. Yeah, I am glitched up. Yeah, I have yet to complete this, guys, but with all of us down here... You know, I think this is like the whole server down in here. Oh, that's a... Oh, what the... Fuck me, that's so many snally I cameras. see that. I think it starts getting harder the higher level we get to. Noise. I'm glad we got like the whole server here, too. Yeah. That nuke zone definitely caught their eye. Ooh! Snally Gaster. Snally Gaster. Oh, no, aren't no. actually attacking me. Oh no, <laughs> that's what just... you're talking about the radiation. Oh no, I'm not going down there. No, I'm not glitching. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of radiation. I'm not going right, down uh, there. <laughs> here. Just keep no them way. off the scavengers then. We got four minutes, guys. I hope we got this. I don't think we do. I don't know if the excavator is truly helping collect more ore each time I collect this irradiated ore. I mean, it's supposed to, but I don't think it's working on these for some reason. I don't think it is. I don't know if it is. Oh, I just died. Yeah, I don't think it is. Oh my gosh, floaters now. Yep, it does. Oh my that gosh. Dude, my screen looks ridiculous. I know. Yes, I just seen you face plant, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the radiation Clunk. got me. I forgot to go in the decom shower. Dude, there's so many floaters down here. Oh, oh yeah, of course I'm gonna die. But yeah, it definitely gets harder each level we go up. Dang, so close. Yeah, we're not gonna get the best that we could have got. Okay, so within the nuke experiment, unfortunately, the enemies were not stronger. I was really hoping that would be the case, but no. None of the enemies were stronger than usual when nuke in this area. It would have been nice because the glowing ones down here are only level 40, and that means they drop lower level legendaries, sadly. But still, nonetheless, a lot of legendaries do spawn down here. So this event is definitely beneficial to get a bunch of extra script to turn into the purveyor. And not to mention, not every legendary that you get down here is going to be low, because you do face level 61 irradiated death claws too. And well, those do drop higher level legendaries. Honestly, now that I think about it, this event has the most amount of legendaries that spawn at once. And yes, it's way better than Uranium Fever. So it's a great event to get a lot of extra script. That's one of the perks over doing Radiation Rumble. Also, what else is pretty beneficial from this event is that you get four treasury notes, which is the max amount of notes that you can get from doing any event pretty awesome to know. Also, another amazing thing that I think is great from doing this event is that you can get a camp plan for a radioactive barrel. This is a brand new, very rare camp plan. And yeah, it is extremely rare. Like I completed this event three or four different times with seven people in my party. So we were all doing this at once, just chit chatting in the party. And only one person out of completing this four different times got this camp plan. And yes, each of those times we completed it, we were at level four reward. We managed to deposit 100 ore each time. And something to note, my buddy who got this, which is gamer tag is Mavius the Mad, he did mention the whole time he was going after the ore and depositing it. So I'm not exactly sure if it varies on how much ore you deposit to get this. It could, because he deposited a lot. But yeah, this is one plan that I know for sure can come from this. And it is pretty beneficial, especially if you're a bloody build because you can just set up this radioactive barrel at your camp and get you some radiation if you want it to get your bloody build active. Now, keep in mind, unfortunately, you can't like create a trap base with these radioactive barrels because a player has to literally hold in the interact button 
to get the radiation. As you can see here, this is how it works. But yeah, this is so far the only plan that I found from this event. If you have any idea of other things that you can get from this besides what I've named off, feel free to jot it down below in the comments. I'm sure the community would greatly appreciate that. And hey, so would I. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll make another updated comprehensive guide over this. Now, let's go ahead and get into the tips about this new event. First off, the goal out of this is to help the scavengers gather up ore. The hard part about it is, as you saw within the gameplay when we first nuked this, which by the way, this was like one of my first times ever doing this event, I literally just waited in a silo until it spawned. But yeah, I figured out there is loads of radiation within these tunnels that we have to go through to collect this ore. So definitely be prepped for that. I highly recommend if you are running to get this ore to use power armor or the new Chinese stealth suits or a hazmat suit. And when you're down here in these radiated tunnels, you're going to want to be collecting the ore on the walls. Now there are four different tunnel systems that you can go down within here and within these four tunnel systems you will find the special ore that you need to deposit. But you can deposit that ore right here in the center where all the scavengers are. And keep in mind not only is there a lot of rads but there's also going to be a lot of enemies too. And these enemies will be targeting the scavengers as well as you and the scavengers die extremely quick. That's probably one of the main reasons why so many players fail this because well how fast the scavengers die. So yeah that's the overall objective of it. So be sure when you are doing this as a team to have some defenders up here protecting the scavengers and some runners who are willing to go down and get the ore as fast as possible and bring it back to deposit it. Now, like I mentioned, experiencing this event while nuked was one of my first times. I actually did this a couple more times to figure out more about it. And I learned that for sure the excavator power armor unfortunately does not help get more ore. I thought it would, so that's the reason why I was using it. But I can clarify that it doesn't help whatsoever. And another tip, which I consider this a pro tip, this is absolutely genius to do, is to just make a blockade with power armor to prevent the enemies from coming in at the scavengers. I highly, highly recommend to do this. You don't have to technically drop your power armor either. You can just simply place your power armor at the area and you know, after so long, it'll withdraw back to your inventory. Or you can pick up a couple chassis before you come over to this event and just literally drop them to make a blockade. Doing this makes the event so much easier because the enemies can't get to the scavengers to take them out. Anyways, the next tip I have for you all is to be sure to be using the decontamination showers as well, especially if you're a runner trying to gather ore to deposit it. This will make it so you will not have to waste as much right away. Okay, so before I completely wrap this up, I just want to go over a few perk cards that are really beneficial while doing this event. First one is Glow Sight. Since most of the enemies down here are glowing, as you can see, this perk card will make it so you deal plus 60% extra damage to glowing enemies. Definitely recommend this perk card while doing Radiation Rumble. Anyways, next one that I recommend is Rad Resistance. As you can see, this will gain you plus 40 extra radiation resistance, which comes in handy if you are a runner trying to gather the ore. Next one I want to cover is Rad Sponge, which is located in the Charisma category. As you can see, this makes it so when affected by Rads, you periodically can heal 200 Rads on nearby teammates if you do have this fully maxed out. Once again, another perk card that I highly recommend while doing this. I mean, there are some others that I could cover, but those are three that I highly recommend to use while doing Radiation Rumble. Hopefully you found this video enjoyable and it ended up helping you out in some kind of way. Radiation Rumble is an extremely fun new event that was added within Wastelanders. And on that note, since it is a brand new event, I know a lot of players are confused while doing this. So I wanted to cover as much as I could to make more players aware of some tips that you can do and what you have to do exactly in order to complete this. Also wanted to cover some rewards too to give players more of a reason to grind it. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video everybody. If you found this enjoyable, it would be greatly appreciated if you could take a little bit of your time and leave a like on the video that way it'll get more passed around the fallout community so more players know exactly what to do also if you're new around here consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing for loads more fallout 76 content and if you don't like what i post in the future you know you can just simply unsubscribe as always though all of that is totally up to you just leaving a friendly reminder here at the end i'm out of here everybody thanks for taking the time watching and listening Till next time peace